definition of a fellowship is different in veterinary medicine than it is in human medicine, right? In human medicine, it's it's meant to be a subspecialty proficiency. In vet med, it's a little bit more fluid um, and can mean anything from like the internship to that post-residency training. So at National Aquarium, their definition of fellowship is more akin to a residency training. Uh, so the candidate does need to have uh, one to two years as a practitioner at a zoologic facility to even be considered. Um, and, you know, similar to a residency, I receive an awful lot more mentorship than I would as an associate. But um, overall, I operate pretty autonomously, you know, reaching out for help as needed just because you are meant to have more experience as a fellow. So we have everything from invertebrates to fish to reptiles to amphibians to birds and mammals. I mean, we have just about every taxa that you can think of there. Overall, I think my favorite part is, you know, being able to potentially make a difference in the well-being of an animal. They aren't always appreciative of the way that we make a difference in the well-being of an animal, but it still, it gives me joy to be able to, you know, help this animal that's in need. The benefits I have um, of working in like a closed system is that I know all of my clients. They know me. Um, you know, we see each other outside of just this 15 minute appointment that I might get if I worked in a private practice. One characteristic we all share is the ability to innovate. You know, you might have one of the few remaining endangered species in your collection that's doing something that has never been seen before, and you have to figure it out and treat it. But you have to use tools that weren't made with this specific animal in mind. I do think that goes hand in hand with, you know, the quick thinking, the problem solving, but I don't think that those things are necessarily limited to zoo vets. Um, you know, most vets share that characteristic, and um, and it's, it's kind of what makes an effective doctor. Regardless of your specialty, whether you go into small animal, large animal, surgery, um, zoologic, you need that base that you learn in school. It is absolutely necessary for any career path in a veterinary's, veterinarian's world. And I got the most solid foundation at SGU and I'm grateful for it every single day.